welcome to java forum now i am going to show you how to set up a m repository from locally mounted dvd in red hat enterprise linux 8.9 so in my virtual box settings you can see that uh, i have mounted the optical drive here i mean i have enabled the optical drive and in storage you can see that i have mounted the red hat enterprise linux 8.9 dvd iso file and started the virtual machine Okay, once you log in, uh, open the termin terminal, uh, log in as a root user. So under slash media directory, I am going to uh, create one directory called rhel8 underscore dvd. So through this directory only, we are going to mount the uh, DVD ISO file system. Okay. Okay. I have created the directory successfully. Now I am going to run the command blk id. That is uh, blk id command will display all the uh, block devices. So here you can see that uh, many block devices are uh, displayed. Okay. Now, uh, once again, I open another terminal. Here, I am executing the command df-kh. Here, last, you can see that uh, file system slash dev slash sr0 is listed. The same file system should be available in uh, blkid command. You can see that slash dev slash sr0 is listed. So, copy this entire line. So each block device will have a one universal identifier, UUID, okay? So we need that uh, to point the, to mount the file system permanently, okay? So copy paste this uh, entire line in uh, one text editor. Okay, now what I'm, I'm going to do, I am going to edit uh, slash etc slash fstab file as a root user uh, there i am going to mount the uh, dvd file system permanently okay so i am editing slash etc slash fstab and add the lines so add this line yes so note down this line so uuid universal uh, identifier that is unique ID. So this is a unique ID for the file system, which will be uh, mounted to slash media slash rhel8 underscore dvd. Okay. So now the file system type is ISO 9060. Okay. So I have success successfully added the entry in slash etc. Uh, slash fs tab. Now I have executed the command mount a. This will mount all the file systems. And finally, uh, we need to run this command systemctl daemon hyphen reload. Okay. So now the file system is uh, dvd iso is mounted to slash media slash rhal8 underscore dvd. Okay. Now I am going to slash etc m.repos.d directory so here i am creating one new file rhl8 underscore dvd dot repo okay so this repo file will contains all the information about the repository so this is the these are the lines i have added okay so make sure that uh, gpg key file gpg key is available in the mentioned location so here you can see the gpg key is uh, available so same same thing i have pointed in the repo file okay so i have uh, updated the base OS and app stream repositories from local DVD, okay? Okay, now I am going to run some M commands. So M update is working fine and let me run M repo list enabled. So this command will uh, list down the enabled repositories. 
M Repolis enabled. Yes, you can see that AppStream and BaseOS uh, repositories are enabled from DVD. So that's all about uh, setting the M repository uh, from locally mounted uh, DVD. So make sure that you have made the correct entries in uh, repo file. Okay. So now let us verify the M repository by installing some package. So I am trying to install uh, Apache HTTP server. Yum install HTTP is a command. Yes, you can see that uh, Apache HTTP server is installed successfully. So, uh, local M repository uh, installation is uh, successful on Red Hat Enterprise Linux 8.